Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela here at Four Lizard. I'm so glad you could make it. And I'm here with a public service announcement today, a PSA for you all, for my sticker lovers out there, for my paper crafters and my planners. Girls, I got you. I was at the Barnes and Nobles yesterday, just, you know, moseying around, checking out the books, and I found these two wonderful, amazing, extra special, fantastic sticker books, and I was absolutely floored as a sticker lover myself. So I'm just going to be sharing with you um, these sticker books and I'll be flipping through them so if you're interested in checking out um, this flip through as well as my general review and thoughts about these two sticker books, just keep on watching. So like I said, I've picked these up at the Barnes & Nobles which here in the United States is a major retail bookseller, it's a bookstore. Um, there's like one in every city and these are incredible sticker books. They're so beautifully designed They're nothing like anything I have ever seen before and I am just so so excited To start playing with them start using them and to share them with you. So let's start off with um, Well, let me just say that these are obviously from the same brand the same company And I believe that the company came out with this one and then they came out with this one from what I can tell reading you know like about them and they're basically just collections of antiquarian stickers and this one is just like a regular like sticker book um, well I mean it just has like you know random stickers in it but this one is kind of uh, like more literary themed that's why it has bibliophilia in front which means book lover so this one has more to do with like bookish type um, stickers and it's kind of based around letters as opposed to just like um, images and pictures in this one so these books are pretty freaking thick and um, I believe the name of the company is uh, Odd Dot. I think it's called Odd Dot. Yeah, it's called Odd Dot, the name of the uh, company that produces these books. And each book has over 1,000 stickers and the stickers vary um, drastically by design. These are both decorative sticker books. If you're used to Happy Planner stickers and like other small sticker shops that have like a mix of decorative and functional, you're not gonna get like checklists or boxes in here. These are purely decorative stickers, which I am absolutely okay with. So both of these books have these antiquarian type stickers. They're kind of like vintage, they're Victorian looking. They look like illustrations out of, you know, Victorian era books. So that's kind of like the theme of both of these books. These are huge books. They're, they're pretty thick uh, books and you have like tons of stickers in each one. And I was so excited in the Barnes & Nobles when I found them. I first saw this one, it was kind of sitting in the front with a bunch of other like bookish gifts. It was kind of like in the gift section. And I saw this and I was like, at first like I was drawn to it by the design and then I saw the sticker book and I was like, no way, this cannot be a sticker book. It's, it looks like an actual book. And I started flipping through it and I was like losing my damn mind in the Barnes and Nobles. I was having an orgasm like right at the front of the store. I was just dying flipping through this. I knew that this had to come home with me. And so I then I got motivated to go check out like the paper craft section of the store. I, I usually don't go to the paper craft section of Barnes and Nobles because I just don't really um, like look for paper crafting books. I haven't really found any good paper crafting books, but I was kind of inspired to go see if they had more type like sticker books in the crafting section. And so I went and that's where I found this one, the antiquarian sticker book and um i was like again i was floored i was shocked i was like orgasming i was i knew that i had to have both of them and so that's why i bought both of them and i also we also had another one which was like a botanist's uh a botanist sticker book and all of the stickers were like uh, these realistic botany illustrations and they were just gorgeous and i wanted to get that one too but i knew i had to like resist somewhere or otherwise i was just gonna turn into an absolute monster and so i picked up these two which um these were definitely my favorite because although i love like botany and i definitely want to get that sticker book eventually 
um, these have much more like variety in them. The, the botany sticker book was just like pure plants. So uh, both of these cost about $25. Here's my receipt actually. Yeah, the uh, this one was $24.99 and this one was $25.99. And for both of them with tax, it came out to about $55, which I think is a steal um, that each one is like about $25 because if you think about it, a Happy Planner sticker book is about um twenty dollars and so for just like se se seven more dollars or so you get this entire book which is amazing to me so i'm gonna go ahead and start flipping through them we'll start with this one the uh antiquarian sticker book the design is just so so gorgeous i love it so much and i can see myself wanting to use this after I finish like using all the stickers, I can see myself using this book for something, maybe like as like a creative journal. Have you ever seen when people take like old books and like paint in them or something like that? I can see myself doing that with this book. So we have just the cover page that says an antiquarian sticker book, an illustrated compendium of adhesive ephemera. I love that. And then we start with the stickers and i love this sticker right here so we have some hand stickers some floral stickers and then each sticker page is separated from each other by like the, these design pages because like they didn't put stickers like on the back of each other i don't know why they didn't just like kind of like glue these together and then have um like stickers like that way you don't have to have these like random uh, filler pages, but whatever Then we have some uh, butterflies and some uh, people some cherries some bugs I love how like weird some of these designs are so then we have another page of the uh, What are they called filler pages? We have more flowers We have like some random person on a cushion an angel blowing a trumpet some dice a fish and then from now on, I'm just gonna flip two at a time so we can go straight to the stickers. More people, some owls, a beetle, sunflowers. Um, this is weird. It's like people in like funky dress surrounding like some kind of person with like uh, a like grass thing on him. I don't know. Some designs, a little cherub, more butterflies. This one is interesting. We have like some woodcut, some scientific illustrations, some weird random, I have no idea what this is. Some mushrooms, shells, butterflies. I have no idea what that is or this is. Okay, here we go. We have more hands, flowers. There's a lot of like natural history inspired designs and stickers in here, a snake. We have some kind of like angel scene going on here. Another shell, more hands, strawberries. Um, crows, people, butterflies, people, a coal heaver, a water crust, crusses, water crusses. Oh, th this person is foraging water crusts. Hands, um, looks like a little like fairy, a couple on a mushroom. That one's cute. And then we have these stickers which have black borders and a black background to them. I don't know what these are. These look like jellyfish, like surreal jellyfish. Okay, there we go. And then we have um, insects, a spider, more hands, flowers, beetles, ladybugs. This one just looks like geometric designs, kind of mandala inspired. And then we have more Victorian style people. This person with a sitting at a table with a wolf, some flowers, a crown, penguins, uh, women in dresses. I don't know what this woman is doing. She's staring at some kind of like contraption. This looks like kind of art of texture gilding somewhere, a lock. And then we have more random stuff, a seal. Um, let's see, people carrying something, more people. This woman has a blindfold on, a uh, manta ray, a mouse. I love these illustrations. They're so weird and so funky. We have some floral wreaths and some bugs. We have, look at this, like this Egyptian um, bird here. We have women. Um, these are kind of Egyptian inspired irises, a weather balloon, fish. These are just so, so gorgeous. They're so weird. Like, what the heck is that? 
What the heck is this? A harp, people, um, a horse in a suit, what looks like a magician performing on stage, another scene, some people playing cards, children playing with a huge hat, some gargoyle faces, a scholar studying, um, animals, Wow, this is so, so funky. This looks like royalty. These are so strange. Like some of these, you have, they're, they're so surreal. You have no idea what's going on. A person riding a fly, weather balloon, painting. I don't even know how they've grouped these together. Like they don't even make sense <laughs> on the page together. Like weather balloon and like columns, this trio of heads, pears, more bugs. Um, <laughs> this one's funny. That one's funny. Shells, animals, um, in portraiture. This kind of looks more like natural history stuff. Bugs, shells, birds, butterflies. Um, this is another like jellyfish style page with um, the black borders. Uh, and then we just have like a random page of uh, like florals. So we go from like the filler page to like a page of florals and then more filler page and then this one's nice this one's skeletons skeleton i can see that they did kind of try to group them somewhat uh to make sense i love this memento mori sticker so skeletons um weird scientific illustrations globes it looks like geometric designs so cool what the heck is this? I have no idea. Um, this looks like natural history inspired stuff. This looks like some kind of squid, birds, a bird nest. Um, we have these like funky box uh, illustrations. These are frames, an elephant, a fish with like a weird box on it. Uh, what's this? Cats, it looks like cats, women, and butterflies. Oh, this one's shells and mushrooms. I love this mushroom one gorgeous uh oh this one's nice this is more natural history stuff uh looks like mushrooms butterflies shells and bugs i love this caterpillar thing and then we have women and fruit and flowers and bugs and shells again um animals fish flowers wreaths cats that one's cool i'm cat sitting um this weekend so i'll probably pull for one of these Ooh, this one is like a peacock, women, owls, hands, um, the men, balloons, crowns, flowers, random stuff, angels, balloons. Why is there so many balloons? Gnomes, an eye. Uh, this, these look like trilobites and jellyfish, so like Cambrian explosion type things. Um, these look like seals and with weird designs like mandala designs and like an eye, a sun. These are animals. I love that one. That's a naked mole rat. Uh, looks like hawks, a swan. More animals, jellyfish, butterflies, seahorses, bats. These are floral wreaths, a little couple of bugs. This one's cool. It's kind of like creepy crawly stuff. Um, bats spiders birds and then we have another page that's just like designed i don't know why they included these design pages because they don't have any stickers on them yeah they don't have any stickers on them and then we go straight into the filler pages again we're just halfway done with this book by the way so people it looks like they're dancing around um a page of butterflies that's cool um just a page of like geometric designs um let's see these look like fancy people um looks like they're having fun at parties um more random designs this one looks like shoes butterflies and some people like dancing and having fun let's see more geometric designs and birds and butterflies and flowers more flowers birds bugs snakes this time Let's see oh these are cool these kind of look like playing cards almost and turtles and then we have just designs flowers animals people this one is another just designs and looks like natural history inspired um things 
Oh, that's, that's a cool sticker. <laughs> this is a really cool sticker. Uh, animals, uh, people with, or animals with people heads, I guess. That's the theme going on there. Uh, I have no idea what these things are here. Uh, weird things, funky things, kind of creepy things. Birds. Uh, more random stuff, mushrooms, food, uh, eating, scenes of eating. Oh, I like this one. I like the, the octopus here, I like the, the shells, the sea creatures. Um, this looks to be like flowers. I love this little octopus sticker, people. Uh, more geometric designs, very cool. And then we get into the letters. So we have a bunch of A's and B's and then C's, D's. We have a bunch of cool looking letters. E's, F's, that one's cool right here with the guy in it. G's, H's, I's, J's. Oh, I love that J with the dog. I like this K with the person, K's, L's. These are probably my least favorite stickers out of all of the stickers because I don't really see myself really pulling for these types of stickers very often. But, you know, we'll see. I might regret those words. I like this right here. S, T, U, V. I like that V a lot. Um, w, X's. I love the with X. Y's and Z's. I like that. The guy and the Z. And there we go. That's it. That is the entire flip through of this particular antiquarian sticker book. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through the next one, which is the antiquarian sticker book bibliophilia and i'm gonna see if i can get through this before the sun fully comes up and starts messing with my lighting so again we have the cover page this one again says an illustrated compendium of adhesive ephemera and we go straight into the stickers and i love this sticker right here this bee lady um which is i love how this one has like book quotes throughout it i love that so much so we have book quotes and then how this one is kind of structured is it starts it has like an alphabet throughout the entire book so at the beginning of the book it starts with a and then it includes tons of stickers that have to do with a so i think this is alice um like alice in wonderland and then there was a, a sticker of an ant here which i actually used um yesterday i tried not to use any stickers until i did this flip through but i just really wanted to grab that ant sticker and so that is the one sticker that is missing out of this book there's an apple here then this is a particular style of filler page between the sticker pages these aren't necessarily like tied to any like letter um so it's not absolutely like strictly structured that is such a cool sticker this like ghost and then we have a dorian gray quote um that's that's cool so we, then we have bees, balloon, bee, bug, um, more people, stickers, um, oh, and then we just have like a filler page here, and then we just have one page of stickers, a Jane Austen quote, so you can see why this one is like more bookish themed, um, so cool, basket, bastinet, a cat, um, but then we have like random stickers that have nothing to do with um, the letters. So, D, the devil, <laughs> Dove. And then we have a page of stickers here. That's so cool. It's like flower wreath with this bird woman. And then we just have a page of design. I don't know why they do that. They have like random pages of design. Then we have shells and other random stuff. E, so we have E, elephant, egg, and then we have just designs, people, very cool. These are cool. These are huge stickers. These are awesome. And then we have F, so fish, uh, fairy, fox, fire. Then we have, this is cool. This is like, what is this? Saturn in the ocean. That's so cool. A lemon. Thing. I have no idea. Where do they come up with these? I'm sure, I mean, they have to have to come from like some kind of like Victorian book, but that's crazy. Like, why did someone think to even draw that? It's so weird. So we have a G here, so giant, goliath, goat. And then we just have um, a, a Langston Hughes quote. That's cool. 
oh these are just this is whoever came up with this idea whoever decided to do this i want to meet them and shake their hand it's such a cool idea so h we have hat horse heart um just butterflies and illuminati <laughs> symbols i so i um what's this i don't know what that is and then okay i don't know why my camera keeps on cutting out it's really upsetting me <laughs> i cut out twice and i went through the entire like the rest of the book without knowing that it cut out so now i have to do it all again so hopefully it doesn't cut out this time but let's again let's start off with this page i think is where we were at we have just really cool um floral stickers animal stickers snail stickers and then we go on to j so jellyfish jumping a joker juniper berries um random stickers uh another book quote i love that i'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly because i feel like it's already such a long video and these books are huge so then we have k this is king more random stickers wow these are so cool this one looks like a page of skeleton and death stickers then we have l so lion lamp lock um these look like love love and lover stickers more natural history inspired stickers this is m magic mouse moon and then more design pages here a filler page and then we have n so this is nest uh, I don't know what these other ones represent. Nest. Uh, let's see. N. And then we have. This look like O stickers. Look at this person levitating this lady. And then like a magician. And then this horse fish thing. That's so strange. So cool. These are my type of stickers, y'all. This is like right up my alley. We have O. Um, octopus. Owls. Another. Uh, this is a John Keats quote. Um, what? Wow, it's beauty is truth, truth beauty. Very cute. Florals and animal stickers. We have pea, penguin, pirate, pie. Um, more animal stickers and weird stickers. This is Q, queen, quill, uh, quail. Then we have a, a Dracula quote. Listen to them, the children of the night. What music they make. That's such a cool quote from Bram Stoker. Um, these are like creepy stickers. I love this lady with her bat wings. And then we have more weird random stickers. I love this. This pug. This spider eating a person. Uh, peach. This R. Rabbit. Rope. Rose. Uh, this is so cool. That is such a cool sticker. I love it. Oh my god. Look at that. I love this like color triangle. Then we have S, snail, spider, squirrel, and then more design pages that have nothing on them. Um, more random stickers. Let's move on. T, tower, toad, trumpet. Um, the day will come when you'll be sorry. Interesting. I love this like zodiac style sticker. And oh, I love this one with the person with the hood and the sun as the face. That's so cool. Um, what's this? You. And then I love the mushroom stickers in this book. And then look at this lady. This lady in the bird costume. So strange. Uh, a volcano, a vulture, a violin, Venus the Milo. I love this book, book sticker here. Uh, most of these stickers here are like bookish stickers, like someone reading or writing. And then I love this. I love this witch hazel um, sticker so much. And this egg sticker. Ugh, these are gorgeous. Then we have W. This is a whale, a wing, a window, a witch. Um, very cool. And then more stickers. Uh, I don't. I don't even know like how they're grouped together. We have X. So X-ray. And then we just have more random stickers. I love this color wheel and then more random stickers how do they group these together i feel like at some point they're just like we have no rhyme or reason why we're near the end here um very cool oh i love this gnome with his big old mushroom z zebra um there's not much z going on here and then we have numbers so we have one two 
a three, so it's showing like things in three, four, uh, five, six, seven. I love this. I love this right here. And the eight, and the octopus. Um, nine, ten, and then that's it. We've reached the end. Wow. What a freaking surreal trip. So I, I freaking love these two box. I see myself <laughs> buying like backups of these. I, I would be crazy to do so, but I am so tempted to get backups of these. Um, but it's gonna take me forever to like get through these. So I'm not gonna do that, but I highly recommend these books. I think they're just so freaking wonderful and interesting and unique. They're like nothing that is out there currently. And so if you're interested in these, go check out your Barnes and Nobles or see if you can find these online somewhere if you don't have a Barnes and Nobles close to you. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for these things as I am? Let me know your thoughts. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.